Alright, so here we go again. Next day, Sunday night, um, about an hour or so ago, got a call for hood exhaust. I go figure the same location I did the walk-in freezer last night, so it's like, couldn't all break in one day, could you? But, hey, you know, another one of those nights, it's uh, not too terrible out, not too cold, though. Probably still have to pull on the jacket and everything, because it's 50 degrees right now, and probably only going to get colder, so, because I think we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. Yay, Colorado. Anywho, um, yeah, I'll get all set, I'll find out what's going on, get up on the roof, and uh, be back on this. Alright, so I'm up on the roof now, just kind of walk through this with y'all. Uh, I remembered, because I was just up here and everything, and I had used the cheater cord on that walk-in freezer there. I was like, you know, there's a newer HVAC unit up here. Should have a convenience outlet, and lo and behold, pardon the pun, down low there is our convenience outlet. So. I didn't have to use a cheater cord, so I brought it up with me just to kind of see if I need it anyway, so I don't have to make so many trips down. I checked the filters and the breakers while I was down there. That ain't good. I mean, I hear the motor running, but it ain't moving no air down there. So you can hear it just flopping. Another set that I've been recommending replacing for a while. Belt. Oh my goodness. See if you can see that angle. Might be easier if I turn this off. This thing is toast. Oh man, look. That thing is. Mi no, it's not missing. Got my other flashlight. No, there it is. Oh my goodness, you should see that thing wobble. Look at that. Look at that. That's neat. And that's completely sheared off the pin there. And it's wallet out there. And that's why the belt broke. Okay. So we'll have to do some fixing on the bracket here to get them up and running. We'll turn that motor. We'll get it kind of straightened up and turn it and see what's going on. It maybe the pulley is just completely chewed up. Kind of hard to see. It's kind of a little wallowed and uneven and just wait. Okay. All right. Start getting this taken apart. Actually, you're supposed to have a little candy cane, little U shape, and everything on top, and everything to hold it in place. You see where that sheared off the little horseshoe, and I think that's the side that's got the cotter pin that holds it in place. And the and you can see here that little crown nut that's supposed to sit on. The end of that uh, all thread of the tension bolt that completely started cutting in half too and I had to kind of yank it off of there Man, it's hard when it's dark you can see it started implanting itself up and through the hole there and everything too this thing is just falling apart okay all right well let me finish pulling this motor out see exactly Ooh. Ooh. it's not pretty nah. yeah I'll pull that pulley off spin it again and uh, see if that's what's wobbling if it's the pulley that's all jacked up 
which it already looks like it's pretty bad anyways. But the motor too. See you here in a minute.
this. You gander at this. Completely walled it out. He started shaving off the side of where the uh, shaft key goes. So ain't no key gonna go there. The shaft, that's walled out. Jump. Uh, where is that key? That thing sheared off oh, right there. Hard to see. There we go. Yeah, it sheared off to a little arrowhead point. I almost see it cut a groove all the way through that shaft key too. Focus. And you spin that. Oh my goodness, why am I blocking all the light? Got a weird spin on it too. <sighs> kind of see the shaft there. Focus. Well, you can kind of see it where the shaft key was cutting into the shaft and shaved that off. And it's misshaped on this one side here. Okay, so we need a motor, pulley, we need to do something about that support bracket because that, that thing. A little gear pin, I guess. That thing broke and sheared off and everything, so. Alright, I mean, I've got a motor on me and I'd have to run to the hardware store to get something to make for a new shaft pin on it, but. After that pulley, I ain't got nothing like that on me, so... Okie dokie. Looks like I'm gonna call the parts store and have to open it up for a silly little pulley. See you on down. Okay, so the parts store had the pulley I needed. Uh, we're gonna have to... When we come back for the HVAC on Monday, double check the superheat subcoolant on that walk-in freezer. I'm putting an electrical whip on this guy, too. But okay, so I got the new motor in, got the pulley, new belt in there. Uh, put a new piece of SO cord. I'm gonna run over the J box there. Still gotta hook that up. Um, this pulley, as I was thinking about it, is actually kind of big. And it was kind of messing with the velocity and everything right there on the blower. So that's why I got the adjustable one. Got to adjust it in and everything so we get that pulley size a little bit smaller. So we can kind of slow it down a little bit because I think it was going too, too much. But it's all walled out there. I got that uh, stainless carriage bolt going all the way down. It fits in there. The problem I'm running into is, I gotta put my flashlight down. See, it's so wallowed out and just a little bit of shifty. This thing's still rocking back and forth and that'll that's knocking this motor kind of cockeyed. So what I'm gonna have to do, get this lined up where I need it and everything. And then maybe one or two spots on this top plate and into the bottom plate. These guys right here. Drill and put a little nut and bolt on that and everything. Kind of like uh, what was once upon a time done out in Falcon. So, yep. Let me get going on that. And then uh, we'll see how she lines up from there. Um, oh yeah. The tension bolt, it, it was completely, it was pretty well sheared. Here I got it right here. I sheared the bolt off. And that's what's left of a plastic uh, crown nut. So, yep, so I got a new piece right there and everything. Uh, FYI, for these auto ones, for that 916 head socket right there, it's a 3 8 coarse thread, 6 inch. And then I used a 3 8 uh, 10 inch on this guy here. So, let's get this thing put together. Alright, so at a point I kind of had to shift gears and change up a little bit and everything still waiting to finish drilling that I uh yeah I'm charging my batteries right now because I guess dummy me forgot to charge every single one of my batteries so got the charger going right now so I just wrapped up the electrical I'm um, just kind of picking up around here got all the trash gathered up in the box so I'll leave a mess up here and just kind of putting the way tools that I'm not going to be using for the rest of it and everything. Let's see how far along are we. Woohoo, two bars. Alright. Uh, maybe I'll give that a go here in a sec. Wish me luck. Alright, getting ready to test it and fire it on up and everything. Um, what I did, I was able to drill on through, 
put a little nut and bolt there to help hold it all in place and everything. This is really just to buy them time because they need a new hood exhaust. Got leveled out. Grease the bearings up. Uh, electrical's all good. So, all right. Fingers crossed on this one. Do, 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 do. Right on, Donkey Kong. Alright, cool. Let me go ahead and start wrapping up, getting all my stuff out. And, uh, get on out of here and go home for the night. Alright, just a quick recap. It's after 9 o'clock now and everything. Just wrapping up and everything. Yeah, they actually uh, have my jacket on. It didn't get too cold and everything. But, um, yeah, when I got here, hood exhaust. I heard it running up top and everything. Belt was broken. Found that everything just fell apart. Just uh, catastrophic failure is what we call that. Just, yeah. So I was I had the motor in stock, but didn't have the pulley. So I went and got that, and I had the belt on me too. So replaced the belt, pulley, motor, um, the motor bracket pin, the uh, tension bolt. Just kind of cleaned it all up. Um, replaced the electrical up in there. Greased the bearings. Uh, tested it. She's working fine and everything, but definitely got to recommend a new one because you know. Yeah, I can only work so many miracles, so. But they're up and running. They're happy. I'm going to go home, uh, watch Netflix for a few minutes before I pass it on the couch, and then get up and do it all over again tomorrow. So, I'll see you later.